we've been having a great time in Silverton getting to know everyone and skiing around. But we did find a grassroots ambassador. Just came down high speed, telemark turns, ripping past. lifts off your shoulders in a way. It's sort of this, I don't know, it's very, it's a wonderful, wonderful place. The thing that really struck me, I think, when I first got here was like, wow, you're walking to the grocery store and I'm walking in this valley that some people hike for JD sites, miles and miles and miles to get to this valley to walk in around a place like this. And you're walking to the grocery store in a place like this. That's 4,000 feet above us, almost there, and that, and that, and that, and you can just kind of go right out the back door, explore. I actually passed through here before on a road trip with a girlfriend and stopped here and was like, oh my god, this place is awesome, I love it. Met him a little while later, and you know, we met, fell in love, and you want to come live in Silverton? Sure. Uh, I don't have a lot of ski partners, really, which makes me wonder why, why Steve is one of them. Probably the most important thing I look for in a ski partner is their communication skills. He tends to run around my ceremony. Kind of, yeah. yeah, and then there's been like that one rumor thing type deal that, yeah. yeah. I started skiing as a very young child, maybe four or five. I don't know that I've ever met anyone that is so completely content just to be out there skiing powder. Obviously he's married now and has a child, so these things are important in his life too. I learned to, to ski on my cousin's shoulders on water, when, just about the time when Steve was learning to ski on, on the snow. And I remember as a kid being in the water and my, our parents being like, okay, you better get up, and alligators being behind us. So, so you learned how to ski pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, I would say avalanches are a little bit more intense than alligators. I mean, we've gone out and tackled some of the, the most challenging and dangerous terrain here in San Juan County together. And uh, we've also had some great time skiing low angle pow. Music. I like reggae music a lot. When I first got to town, I thought, okay, cool. There's a radio station, I'll start a radio show. Steve will drop the knee every single time. I know a lot of Telly Piners that, you know, haven't dropped a knee since the Carter administration. So being that it was Christmas and all, we figured that we'd treat Steve to something that he wouldn't really buy for himself. Three things you can. You got turkey, 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 turkey,